Hi baby, I'm Rachel Look Cool. I'm a pro makeup artist and today we are doing a cut crease on beautiful hooded eyes. I did an Adele makeup tutorial uh, a couple weeks ago and I asked you guys if you wanted a tutorial for hooded eyes because that look is just gonna need some accommodation if you wanted to do it on a hooded eye or a monolid or a more mature lid. I'm sure you know by now my mission as a makeup artist is to change the narrative surrounding makeup of using it to correct and color cover up and change what you have to fit some ideal that at the end of the day doesn't exist and turn it into more of a way to use makeup to enhance and accentuate and while that is so important to me and my heart I was talking to my roommate about this because she is the hooded eye model <laughs> and she said you know while that is an amazing mission or whatever it does sometimes suck because there are these new trends or new hacks or new viral videos that she wants to try and she can't because she has hooded eyes. And she was saying, you know, just as much fun as it is embracing my hooded eyes, I don't want to be excluded from trying something new. And after she said this, it helped me gain a more conscious and inclusive perspective. I am aware that I am somebody that is extremely visible and well represented in the media. You know, embracing my features is a lot more aided because it's what is always shown. It's what has always been shown. When I was younger and really heavily watching tutorials, I never stopped to think, wow, what if I wanted to try something new and there wasn't a tutorial for me because I have this feature that is less represented. I never thought about that and that's a privilege of mine, but I'm aware that a lot of people don't have that access. So that is why I am extending the eye shape series. I wanna do tutorials for all different eye shapes that go beyond just a basic everyday look. Let's do a cut crease. Let's do graphic liner. I wanna work with you guys to make sure you are being seen and you have tutorials that fit your bill. And th that's my job as a makeup artist and a content creator, you know? So please leave comments down below of any type of tutorial that you don't see in the media that you would like. And this goes for more than just hooded eyes. Any facial feature that needs accommodation, I want to help. I would love to troubleshoot with you, figure out a way to make it work because I want you guys to be able to try looks that you want to try. There's a way to make it work. It just takes a little extra accommodation. That's all. No biggie. If this sort of mentality is something that you align with, I'd love it if you subscribed because that's what we do here on this channel. You can follow me on my TikTok and my Instagram. I post different content on all three platforms. And without further ado, here is a cut crease inspired by Adele for hooded eyes. Let's go. Or let's go. I always do it the wrong way. <laughs> let's go. Here is my beautiful roommate and hooded eye model Noelle. Look at how gorgeous. All right, let's get started with the tutorial. An eyeshadow primer is essential for this look. We are creating illusions with precise lines and a primer is really gonna make sure our shadow stays exactly where we put it. Don't use this one though, because I literally hate it, it sucks. Then with a big fluffy brush into a skin tone eyeshadow shade, I am packing the lid with this shadow to really make sure the primer is set. This primer is so sticky and gross, so I really had to make sure I extra set it. Um, but the Anastasia one's good, so maybe use that one, hee <laughs> hee. We are going to be creating a new eyelid. So with a dense flat brush into a concealer, look straight into the mirror, and I'm sketching a line just above her lid on the actual hood following the shape of her eye. I'm just sketching a line. So then after I do that, then you can look down and then you can fill in the entire lid with the concealer. Now, because her lid is hooded, I am gently lifting up her eye by taking my thumb onto her eyebrow um, and I'm just lifting the eye to get rid of any creases um, so I can really, really fill in that lid all the way. Now, you can really play with how big or small you want your lid to be, what shape. This is by no means a natural look, so really have fun and discover what do you think looks good on you. You're sketching a new feature, so really, you know, play, have fun. Eyelid check. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, look at you. Whoa. Whoa. That's so weird. <laughs> look, look, I have an eyelid. Whoa, hey, hey now, hey. Whoa, no, genuinely though, I'm like, look, I'm like, isn't that weird? That's so <laughs> weird. Okay, I'm taking a flat, fluffy brush into a matte highlight shade, and I'm going to be super, super, super setting once again that concealer to make sure it does not crease. I would use a thicker concealer for this um, to really make sure that it doesn't move, um, and then really make sure you're ultra setting it. And there you go, there's your new lid. How do you feel? <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> what? Oh my god. 
What the f- Wow, no, genuinely, so what the f- I didn't know if that was gonna work. I'm like, ch I'm just as shocked that it did. <laughs> Trust the process, y'all, okay? I am taking a fluffy brush into a transition shade, and I'm going right above that crease very carefully. Putting this color here now is going to make blending so much easier when we cut the crease with a darker shade later. It's going to make that gradient effect, and it's going to be really pretty. If you will notice, I am then going to be taking that shade on the outer fourth of our fake eyelid. This is going to create that three-dimensional look that a double lid typically has and just make it look overall more natural and blended. Next, with a pencil brush into our definer shade, I am taking that under... Hi. Okay, I'm taking that under the eye. And then once I get to the outer corner, I am just going to continue that line up. You can see uh, right here, I am just bulldozing over that lid, over that crease. I am on a mission to create a straight line and nothing will stop me. So while you're doing this, please make sure you're looking straight into the mirror. That is how you can keep your line straight. Then with her looking down, I am just going to take that pencil brush and just go right above that fake lid crease i guess that would be or now we're creating the crease so i'm going right above that lid space next i'm connecting that first line up with our new crease line creating a nice and pretty point and i'm even taking it a little bit onto that outer fourth for a gradient effect i'm also going to be taking that line pretty far in and i know that it runs into her eyebrow but that's how adele had it and once we blend it will really really look amazing Okay, hello from my living room. Um, quickly before we get into the next clip, you're gonna see me just blend out that crease line a little bit more with the pencil brush. I wanna teach you how to blend with a pencil brush. This is an angled brush, but we're gonna pretend. So when you wanna use a pencil brush to create a line, like we did with the crease, um, you're gonna wanna hold it straight incoming like this, incoming, and you can make a straight line like that. When you wanna use a pencil brush to blend, you hold the brush up and down. That way you put the shadow on the side of the brush, not on the tip, you put the shadow on the side of the brush, hold it up and down and go like this. It really, really blends shadow. Oh my God, my head is freaking flat. Oh my God, okay, anyway. Um, it really blends the shadow so beautifully. So this is what I'm doing in the next clip. I just had to visualize it uh, uh, for you like this. Okay, bye. Okay, here I am going straight in to create a line and then switching the position so now it's up and down so I can blend. And I'm continuously adding and then blending and then adding and then blending. It's to really create that gradient three-dimensional effect. All right, now we're going to start our gradient blending with an angled brush. First into our lightest shade, number one. Then we are going to be transitioning to two shades deeper into number two, and then transitioning to our definer shade number three. Here is where we will be placing each shade to create a gradient and dimensional blend. Here I am going in with our lightest shade, sweeping from the cut crease all the way up to the brow bone, making everything blend together. I am also taking that the furthest into our fake lid. Next, I am taking shade number two on a slightly smaller V. Then I am taking shade number three on a pencil brush, going over that first line ever so slightly. And then I am also taking that right onto the crease line just to redefine it a little bit more. You can really see the difference between the two eyes of the gradient and dimensional look it gives, especially after we blend. A, B, B, always B blending. I am taking that long fluffy brush and I am blending everything together. This is where it stops looking so crazy, starts looking a little bit more normal. Here we go. Just keep trusting the process. Final step with the shadow. I'm taking that first flat shader brush into shade number one, and I am just going on the outer thirds of our fake lid. You can see where the circles are. This is going to create incredible dimension on the actual fake lid. So there I am, just packing it there. Then finally, I'm taking that first highlighter shade and I'm placing that in the middle of the two outer thirds. This is gonna create that ball of the eye that I talk about oh so often. Liner, here we go. I am taking a flat, dense brush into a gel liner and we are going to be doing a push liner. So I'm basically pushing the gel liner into the lash line, very, very close to the lashes. What this is gonna do when we create the wing later, it's gonna create the illusion that the liner is going all the way into the inner corner. But in reality, if we actually took the liner all the way into the inner corner on our lid, it's gonna be way too heavy, way the eye down, eat up a lot of lid space. So the push liner is a great way to kind of cheat that. 
For the wing, look straight into the mirror and stamp your first line up. Go over any lid, go over any hood, stamp a straight line up. Then from the corner of that line, drag your brush again over any lid, over any crease. Keep that line straight, connecting to the first third of your lash line. You should get something a little bit like this with all these gaps and this nice little bat wing effect kind of going on. So now I am just filling those lines in. Um, yeah, I should have used an angled brush for this part. Now would be a good time to switch over because an angled brush gets a really nice drag that makes it a lot easier to go over those lines and bumps and creases. Yes, I had to go back and clean up. Yes, I had to add more and take more away. Hooded liner is a little bit more difficult, um, even for a professional. So please don't be hard on yourself. Just keep practicing. Just keep looking straight into the mirror. Find what works for you. Find your preferred liner style. Find your preferred liner type. Find your niche and really just keep working at it. You will get it, I promise. It just takes a little accommodation. All right, lashes. I'm taking the Ardell Demi Wispies. I cut off about this much from the end because, you know, hooded eyes, a full lash is really going to weigh down the inner corner. Here I am applying some glue, letting it dry 30 seconds. I'm getting really good at just plopping that thing on and it's like good. I don't know. Practice, people. It really does help. And here we are, the final look. Oh my God. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the first two thirds of this video, you go, what is this be doing? This looks crazy. But then if you just wait to the end, you just trust the process and the power of makeup, we get to this beautiful Adele cut crease on a hooded eye. Who knew we could do it, but we could! I'm not gonna lie to you, going into this, I didn't know if this was gonna work. I'm like, let me just troubleshoot and see how it goes. It turned out so amazing. I'm so happy we trial and errored. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. And there you go. There is a cut crease on hooded eyes. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed. I hope you guys try this. If you have a different way that you like to do a cut crease on a hooded eye, let me know down below. I'm sure there's many different ways to do it. And uh, I would love to experiment. Like I said, if you are somebody that likes to use makeup to embrace and enhance and express who they are, please consider subscribing because that is what we do here. And if you'd like to follow me on my TikTok and Instagram, there's plenty of content to go around so make sure to follow me there i guess like i said leave any comments down below of any tutorials you want to see any makeup looks you've always wanted to try but feel like you need a little extra accommodation comment them down below and we will make it happen i got you <laughs> i love you guys so 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 much okay and i hope you have such a good day okay bye